to my channel. Today we are getting into six ways that you can style your jumbo knotless braids. I feel like jumbo knotless is kind of like slightly more difficult to style or like play around with, but I got you. I'm coming through with six styles. They are so super cute and best of all, they are quick and easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this first style, if we're gonna pick favorites, I think we might just have to go ahead and call this my favorite. And it's gonna be like a really cute, but like super high, half up, half down. I love this look. I even love to do this look with my natural hair, but oh, it's just so cute and it's actually a really trending style right now. So I just grabbed my four main braids right here from the front. And I'm just gonna literally put them up towards the top of my head. And I'm just gonna take my scrunchie here. This is a very dark brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clip it up. So I'm just gonna actually loop it twice. And then you can kind of finagle it. If it's pulling too much, pull your braids out, make it a little bit looser. And then you kind of just fix your braids to the front and then boom. I mean, I told y'all these styles were about to be quick and easy, but I mean, I, I love this style. Talk about like, this is a completely different look. I have changed the vibe of like what I got going on here with this. So you can obviously kind of wear it all back if you want. You can swoop to one side if you want. I think the one side is like really, really cute. Or you can also say, boom, your girl got inches. I'm gonna show them off and put it all in the front. Um, either way you put it, this style is super cute and also super, super comfortable. I also really love this specific scrunchie. I'll go ahead and tag it for you guys below in the description box. I like the color of it. It's a very, 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 very dark brown. So it doesn't like stand out or look crazy or anything. It's just so cute. It's just so cute. This is the vibes. Okay, on to the next one. So the next one is actually kind of a little variation of this style. Instead of leaving this out, you can actually take these top four braids and roll them around into a really cute top knot. So I'm, as I'm like rolling them around, I'm just using my other hand to kind of shape them as we go. Like, how cute. I think half up, half down in general is just a vibe. It's just a vibe because I feel like it screams effortless, but also cute and stylish, you know what I mean? Let me back up so y'all can get to see the full look with the top of the bun in the frame. Like, this is so, so cute as well. You know what, I think I would really, really like this with some big hoop earrings and maybe like a crop denim jacket. I feel like this is giving me a whole like, vintage vibe you know what i mean oh and it is so so cute there's just something about the braids being wrapped around in a bun as well that is just i don't know it's just sexy and i'm here for it i love it i mean when i told y'all these styles were quick and easy i was not playing any games what we're gonna do next is a ponytail but instead of just doing like a regular regular ponytail i'm actually gonna go ahead and leave these two front braids out because i just think that would be a cute little vibe so i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of carefully take all my braids up bit by bit and i do want this to be a high ponytail so i'm just taking each braid up bit by bit until we have one big ponytail at the top of our head. And then once you got all the braids, all we gotta do is secure the ponytail. So I'm just gonna go in with that same scrunchie to secure the ponytail. Whew, so I will say, getting all these braids into one scrunchie is a little bit difficult, but just have some patience. It'll be worth it. Boom. I think she is cute. I also love like all the volume we've got going on at the top here. This is definitely a vibe. It's also giving me um, 90s vibes 100% and I feel like y'all already know how much I love everything to do with the 90s, the style, the makeup, everything. So 
I am loving this. Another thing that we could do instead of leaving this bare is that we can go ahead and use these front guys to wrap around it and kind of hide it. So I've wrapped this one that way and I'm gonna wrap this one the other way. So we've got a cute little X in the front. And then I'm literally just gonna tuck in the ends underneath some other braids to secure it. Boom, look at that braid work in the front though. It's, it's the crisscross for me. This is cute. So that's just two quick variations of a high ponytail. You're gonna wanna make sure that if you do have braids, you wanna make sure that your braids are like fairly long. The longer it is, the cuter it will look. Okay, like I feel like I kind of wish I had a little bit of additional length and like thickness to my braids down here at the end so that this high ponytail could be even more of a vibe, but I still think we're really, really cute. So that is style number three, high ponytail with or without the little dangles in the front. I'm living. So for number four, we're actually gonna take it from here and we're just gonna kind of loop this around and create a big, big braided bun. So I'm literally just taking all the braids and kind of twisting and swirling around. Oh, look at this big delicious bun. And I'm basically just like kind of finagling until I get the shape of bun that I want. Hello, how regal and cute is this? It's almost giving me like messy but clean bun kind of vibes. It is just kind of wound up. We are showing face. I just think this is so, so cute. I feel like this hairstyle, you can kind of dress it up or dress it down as well. Like right now it's kind of dressed down. So it feels like a chill bun vibe because I got a t-shirt on and stuff. You can definitely slap on like a tight and sexy bodycon dress with this bun and girl, you're ready for date night. For style number five, it's still going to be, I guess somewhat a little bit of a variation of this bun but we are gonna switch it up with this wrap. So this wrap is a huge, like long, stretchy wrap, a beautiful wrap. I'm like, I love, 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 love this color. I got this from The Wrap Life and I just think this is about to completely change the game for this bun. So I'm just gonna start by putting it to the back, bringing it to the front. We're then gonna crisscross in the front like so and then bring it around towards the back again so in the back i'm just going to go ahead and tie it like this to kind of make sure it's secure and then we're going to tuck the ends in here and then i'm just going to kind of pull the fabric to kind of hide all the crazy hopefully it looks good i can't really see the back that well how beautiful are we the wrap completely changed the entire vibe are we on vacation come on this is so so cute and then the fun thing is about kind of using wraps is that you can use different colors with different outfits and play off your makeup and all of that stuff so when it comes to wraps, you can definitely do so much. And also the way that you wrap, because I feel like this one, I didn't really twist it or anything like that. I just left it kind of messy, which makes it feel a little bit more casual, a little bit more chill, you know what I mean? But you can kind of twist it. Actually, let me show you how different it would look if maybe we twisted it and gave it a little bit more definition. So you see what I mean? We're twisted. Or we could even twist and then twist around the twist. And boom, it's a whole nother style, whole other vibe. So I just do the same thing and kind of just tie it around in the back. And then we bring the fabric up again. Boom, whole other vibe. Oh! I just love me a good wrap moment. This is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, with some big gold hoops, honey, it's just the colors. The colors are giving me all the summer vibes right now. Like I've got some peach. I've got, I don't know, I guess we could call this like a burnt, 
a burnt orange. Ugh, I don't even want to take this out. Seriously, because it's so cute. Anyways, we've got one more style to hit. So I'm actually going to untie this and also take down the bun completely. Okay, so for my last style, I kind of wanted to give you guys something a little bit more simple and more chill. And so what that's gonna be is like a side swept, low half up, half down kind of situation. So first I am going to start by kind of sweeping over a couple of my braids. This is what's gonna give us that side swept look. I think that's good. I'm then gonna grab just these two from the opposite side and then these four right here. And I'm going to bring them together in the back and loosely tie them together with a scrunchie. So I'm just gonna push it forward so these loosen up just a little bit. Give this a little swoop action. This is one of those that is super simple, quick and easy. It is like real chill, but so cute as well. I love me a good like side swoop action, especially if you are like me and you have like the middle part braids. It's nice to kind of switch it up by swooping a couple of them over and then it's like a completely different look, a completely different vibe. I also feel like this is another one of those styles that you could dress up or down. Hear me out, picture me in a really nice like lace wedding guest kind of dress, you know what I mean? With some really cute little diamond earrings. It could be like that formal sweetheart kind of look, you know what I mean? Anything side swooped I feel like can kind of just give off that vibe. But I also actually just wear this around the house as well when I just quickly want my braids out of my face. This is kind of one of my go-tos that I do really, really often as well. So that's it. Six quick and easy ways to style your jumbo knotless braids. Have you guys heard of the drama recently about like braids and like who wears braids for their birthday? Like what? I've never heard anything dumber in my life. Literally, like I just showcased how many ways you can style these braids as well as like every style that I showed, you can remix it up a little bit with like wraps, with crisscrossing the braids, with side swooping, you know what I mean? Like there's always a fun way to remix of a style with braids. You can make it formal, you can do whatever you want with your braids and you can wear them whatever you want because they're braids, they are versatile as hell. So I do not believe in all of the drama going on about, oh, you can't wear braids for this and that. Wear your braids, girl. For your birthday, for your wedding, whatever you want, rock them, okay? And don't let anybody tell you when you can and can't wear a certain style, period. That's it. But yeah, guys, I had so much fun doing all these styles with you. If you guys are gonna recreate some of my styles, please make sure you tag me so I can see your beautiful work. I wanna see your beautiful braids doing some amazing things. <laughs> I wanna see your style. I love to see when you guys recreate stuff for my tutorials. It just, it literally brings me so much joy. So don't forget to tag me so that I can check out your fun braid hairstyles as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.